is the O'Reilly Auto Parts Route 66 Nationals from beautiful Route 66 Raceway. And with final eliminations of that race to come, we start today, though, with the 27th edition, the Jegs All-Stars and the big cash grab for some of the best sportsman racers across the country. 31 U.S. states, two Canadian provinces, 76 different drivers here today to see who can take home the big deposit slip and make their banks and their pocketbooks very, very happy. Alongside of Bob Fry, I am Dave Reef. Very happy to join you as you're watching at home. And Bob, God, you gotta love the Jegs All Stars. It doesn't get any better than this. It is like the highlight of my season. I mean that sincerely. I mean we love watching the fuel cars run, but when you get, you know, 80 or 90 of the best sportsman races across the country who have fought for a year just to earn the right to get here, then they get to slug it out. You look at the ladders and you go, well, there are no easy pickings here. The whole thing's like. Well, it's like an all-star show. Well, how do and you it get is here? Fun. That's what you got to tell us. Well, the drivers fight over the course of a year. They earn points at their Lucas Oil Division races in their home divisions. Divisions one through seven, beginning in the Northeast, working their way out to the West Coast. Top points earners earn the right to come here and be an all-star. Now, the drivers come here. They can earn points for individual honors and for team honors. Now, blocker gets a chance to come in here. We'll explain that when we see them in the eliminations. A blocker can win rounds but cannot earn points for his team. And the double-up bonus given by the great folks at Jags. If a driver comes in, wins the All-Star event today, comes back and doubles up and wins again tomorrow. It happens often, and if a guy does that, you talk about ka -ching, it is a happy day for some Lucas Oil sports and racer, and thanks to all the great folks at Jags. And even in this Jags all Star, there are guys that can double up at this event. We'll have that story to come. But round one highlights start off explosively, scaring like thought Mickey Farrell was going to get over here against Tony Bartone. Yeah, it was an amazing run for Mickey. He's had very tough luck here during the course of the season. We've seen him get in situations like this before and save it. It was amazing that that car did not flip over. Got up on the tires, went in, rode the wall for a little bit. Mickey took a pretty good hit, but he was okay. But, I mean, an amazing whack into the wall. And the fact that this car did not go over on its roof, to me itself, was just a stunning thing. The third member of our broadcast crew is Lauren Bowman. She caught up with Mickey right after this crash. Thanks, Dave. Mickey had high hopes for this weekend, not to only to advance in the national point standing, but also to possibly double up in the Jags All-Star competition. We just witnessed an incredibly odd turn of events. Mickey, put us in the cockpit and tell us what happened. Well, unfortunately for this uh, Ryko and, and Green Stuff uh, absorbent uh, hydraulics car, we, we, uh, we were in trouble early. You know, I swapped feet. We left the starting line. I had a little bit too much wheel speed. The car started to move towards the center line. Uh, I've been in that position before and uh, had no problem bringing the car back. Uh, as I brought the car back, the, you know, the back end started to wash out. It got out of the groove. I stepped off the pedal, but unfortunately, the car kept washing out. Uh, the back end came around. I couldn't save it. It got up on two wheels and it hit the wall pretty hard. So, you know, we've done a lot of damage here to our equipment. And unfortunately, uh, you know, we've hurt our chances in, in, the, uh, in the national point standings. And, uh, and naturally, you know, we, we would have loved to have uh, gone some more rounds in the Jegs All-Stars. But uh, we're going to uh, we're gonna have to bring this car to Murphs and get it fixed. And uh, our next race was scheduled for, uh, was, was for the North Carolina uh, Charlotte points race, which is the uh, weekend before Indy. So we should be able to get the car back together for that. And uh, we'll be ready for that in Indy. Tough break for Mickey Ferrell.